everyone, Willow West here, and welcome back to the Long Dark Nomad. Uh, so at the end of the last episode, we had just uh, stepped in here to this fishing cabin because there was a bear outside, and I was thinking, uh, after wrapping up that episode, I thought, you know, we should probably take that bear down, <laughs> just because we are in need of some guts and he's got lots of them and he's also kind of making himself a nuisance and after reading the comments it seems like you guys are pretty much in agreement so ooh, I think it's time that we poke our heads out here see where that bears at uh, don't be right in front of us don't be right in front of us He's over there. Okay. What do you think? We go inside. <laughs> oh! And I don't even know if we got got him. I didn't see the blood spatter, but uh, hoping that we did. Because I kind of want to poke my head out again and take another shot, but... I don't want to do it if he's right outside. Maybe give him a little bit more time. Um, I mean, even if we did get mauled right now, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because, uh, well, I mean, it would be a big deal. But um, we are at 100% health. And it would only take us down to 10%. But if we did get a shot off on him, then um, he would be injured. And he's likely to die at some point. Okay. Poking my head out again. Okay, going back inside. <laughs> so we know he's still right outside there. Um, this is not the best place to be when hunting a bear but if we can kind of keep him around here that would be ideal and he could kind of uh, uh, keel over and die maybe right outside here <laughs> uh I wonder how much time to give him. Poke our heads out again and try to shoot again? I don't know. I don't know. This makes me nervous. Okay. Will he be wandering away? Let's try again. Okay, he's still there. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Next time I should shoot him while he's uh, standing up and is doing his little roary thing. So he'll probably have charged at us. And well, let's see. Can we? Let's just waste a few minutes and break these curtains down. Okay. Maybe that'll give him enough time to uh, have uh, wandered away. Let's see. <laughs> Giving us a little bit of space. Uh... Going inside. <laughs> I know, I know we must have gotten him that time. And I'm pretty sure we got him the first time, too. He's just gonna hang around there. <laughs> Break these down. Then let's head out and see. I don't know if we need that cloth, but 
Just wasting time. Where are you, buddy? Where are you, buddy? Did you... Move on? Are you... Around here somewhere? Let's see. Let's see. I'm just trying to be quiet to see if I can hear his footsteps. hear him grunting or something. And I don't hear anything, but He can be pretty quiet on those roads, too, so... Just gonna get around here and see... And it's not easy because there are a lot of creeks and things going on. buildings, these cabins. Is that a dead bear? Or is he just faking? And he's gonna pop up and be like, surprise! Ha <laughs> ha! My goodness, I think we got a bear, guys. Okay. 10% frozen. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear, but you were making yourself kind of a nuisance. So, I did what I had to do. Alright, let's see. Five hours of daylight left. Let's go ahead and get his uh, hide. Um... Knife. Um, hide and we can do five guts and let's see if we're still warm after that. Yeah, I think so. Um, let's go ahead and get another five guts. Looks like the sky's getting green. Okay. What is going on with my hair? Sorry, I'm messing with things because for some reason my keyboard now is not responding. <laughs> I was having problems with my mouse last time and I replaced the, uh, the batteries. And now my keyboard's acting all wonky. All right, let's uh, put the bear... Bear skin over here. Drop that. And this one was cured, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. And we will drop the... Uh, still hitting that wrong button. Still hitting it. All right. Drop the guts over there. And, okay, we're getting tired and hungry. We left all of our deer meat out. Uh, 
in the fishing hut. So looks like these are all cured, cured, cured. And those look to be cured too. Let's put them in the locker. I think it was Lune Lazard was saying that the uh, cured skins don't do great if they go in the lockers. <sighs> I know, you're tired. I know. Let's put all the cloth away for now. Um, you know what? This, this one is going to be our garbage locker. How about that? <laughs> put all the things that we don't need anymore in there. How about that? All right. And then, uh, oh, these also can be put away. Um, okay. Let's go grab some meat. Actually, you know what? Pretty tired right now, but we should grab some meat off of this guy. We need some sticks also. But, uh, we're not gonna be able to eat uh, a lot of his meat every day but two hours and 40 minutes uh let's do two hours feels like night is coming i know i know i know it is it is coming it's night right now okay um yeah we we can just uh use his meat to Sort of supplement the Damn it. venison. I'm so hungry. Oh my goodness, woman. Act like you haven't eaten in forever. And you just had a big juicy steak earlier today, so I know you can't be that hungry. But anyhow, as I was saying, we can uh, eat that bear meat sparingly to supplement the um, venison. Because that is 900 calories, which is pretty darn good. If we only eat one piece a day, we will only have, uh, let's see, we'll put it, we'll put it in here. We'll only have 1% chance. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Oh, my lord, woman. <laughs> oh, serenity now. Serenity now. <laughs> right, well, will this make you feel better if we stuff some meat in your mouth hole? Will that shut you up? Huh? Is that good? <laughs> uh, this lady. Okay. Feeling better now? Can we get back to the business in hand? What's the temperature like? It feels like six degrees. You know what we should do? This is a nice, beautiful night out. And now that uh, we've taken care of, well, what seems like the only predator in the area. Can't be certain about that, but it seems like he was the only one. I think maybe we should uh, do a little bit of crafting before we go to sleep. All right, it is dark, dark, dark in here. Okay. Let's see. Um, I want to make our deerskin pants, I think. I think those might take... <sighs> lady, lady. I think they might take four. Oh, we might have actually had enough guts, but we're going to need more for... Uh, the bows if we make the bows also anyhow 
enough for the uh, pants. Let's put the meat in there. And let's spend a little bit of time Is that an animal sound? Better not be. I'm going to crouch down just in case. <laughs> Still feels like six degrees. Okay. Let's uh, do some work then. Um, Not on the boots, on the pants. Let's do, let's say, two hours. We'll keep an eye on uh, the temperature. <sighs> Getting tired. Yeah, well, let's do an hour at a time now. Getting colder. Starting to snow. Getting pretty tired. And hungry. <laughs> um, I think a blizzard's coming. Let's get inside. Come on. Yep, indeed. Okay. Well, good. We made some good use of that time. Let's go ahead and drink. See how we're feeling. We're hungry, but we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and sleep for... I'm just going to say 11 hours. I don't think it's going to let us sleep that long, but just sleep as long as we can. Okay. Woke fully rested and we're hungry. So we'll eat some venison. I'm going to need to eat soon. Okay, okay, lady. My goodness. My goodness. This lady. Okay. So this is the last of our venison. What I think we should do is maybe we'll go ahead. No, I, I'm looking in the wrong one. Okay. Maybe we will. Um... Get out some. Oh, we have enough for one. And then one more. So let's see. We want to transfer. So we have four. We need six. We transfer two. No, we need nine, right? Right? Is that right? So we need five. Okay. I think that's right. We have nine and we need three. Yeah, okay. All right. And then, uh,. You know what? We can make six more of these. So let's um, transfer six more of those. And then that would be what? 18? Okay. Well, let's make some arrows. What's it feel like? What's the temperature like? Six degrees. Not bad. Still crouching. I'm still still nervous being out here. Still nervous, but uh, I just don't trust that there will not be any wolves around. <laughs> Maybe there weren't any wolves around because there was a bear that was always coming around and now that the bear's out of the picture. And maybe some wolves will be popping their heads up. <laughs> Let's see. We're getting a little hungry, a little thirsty. We're going to have to cook up that uh, some of that bear meat, I think.
But I was thinking we could come out here and uh, get another deer. Wanted to do it with an arrow though, so we're not wasting. Our rifle ammunition I want to hold on to as much of that as possible but I'm not seeing any deer out here let's see we'll reclaim wood we need more wood don't we maybe we can break up over here There's some over here. Sorry, if you hear my dog snorting, he's <laughs> he's uh, going into the vet later on today because he is. I don't know what his deal is. I think he's got um, hay fever. And he's, like, itchy all over, poor guy. And he uh, keeps biting at himself. Because he's in... His skin is irritated. He's in pain. So he keeps nipping at his, himself. And he keeps licking. There's a spot on his tail that he keeps licking raw. So, pretty sure that he is going to be getting the cone of shame again. <laughs> Did this happen last year? Wallace! Come on, little fire. Don't. You're going to hurt yourself. This, this happened last year, too. And he was miserable, but the vet gave him some good drugs, so... Sure, they will do that again this time. And I really hope this time they'll be able to figure out exactly what's going on so he doesn't keep getting, getting sick. Well, not sick, but his skin irritated like this. Can't be much fun. Okay, let's just cook up as much of this bear meat as we can. Okay, getting a bit thirsty. Oh, my word. You're not, you're not living in the Sahara, okay? You got plenty of water in your backpack. In fact, let's, let's go ahead and uh, get some of that out. So that uh, you won't have anything to complain about, huh? Yeah? Okay. Now, it cannot just be my imagination. This lady is complaining more than she used to. Am I right? It just seems like uh, there's more complaining this time around. I think it was uh, Cyber Honey that was saying that this Sarah chick is high maintenance. And <laughs> that is exactly right. High maintenance. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, make some of this herbal tea. We have some time left. And we have lots of it. and take a brand. Let's put the most of the bear meat away. Oh my. It is dark out tonight. I can hardly see where I'm going. Oh. 
I think this is the way. There are an awful lot of, like, pitch black nights anymore. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to eat until we are starving. But let's see. Let's see what the temperature feels like. Feels like 11 because we're holding on to this uh, brand. Let's... Um, Go ahead and do some more work. I'm gonna do an hour and a half on the pants. Oh, I need to find food. You have food in your backpack. Okay. What was the temperature like again? Five degrees. Okay, let's. Hmm. work for another hour okay we're starving now and our sewing kit is worn out so we're down to fishing tackle uh, okay let's see that's gonna make our progress slower starting let's see it feels like four degrees no I didn't mean to do that workbench okay let's work for I will die if I don't get food soon <laughs> promise <laughs> let's work for an hour and a half Three degrees, two degrees. Okay. Um, spend another hour. Okay. I guess we should go ahead and uh, go in. Uh, let's see. Eat parasitic bear meat. We'll drink some herbal tea. Drink some water. So we're not starving. Let's go ahead and sleep for as long as we can. And then, woke up fully rested, good deal, and, okay, we're still just at 1%, but we're still thirsty and ravenous, so, we need to get some more food. We need more food besides, uh, oh, you know what? I think, did we leave our, our bow in here? Yeah, we left the bow, the arrow. What are we carrying that's weighing us down? Oh, we're carrying around those boots. <laughs> Those extra boots, why? Oh, and the deer skin pants, but we're working on those, so that's fine. Okay. I thought we got rid of oh no, that was the other one. Okay. And I think it disappeared from the other one as soon as we put it into the um There we go. As soon as we put it into the locker, I think it disappeared, but okay. Okay. Um, 
I guess we can try our luck and see if there are any deer out there. We only have four arrows total right now. And it's foggy. I don't know that I like those chances. <laughs> The deer seem to be harder to kill now, too. I'm gonna listen to here. I, I hear one. But where it might be and how far away, I don't know. <laughs> There's our dead deer friend over here. What's the temperature like? Three degrees. Okay, well. Chances are we head over here where our dear friend was. We'll see another one come by here eventually. Oh, I see you. Now deer are very tricky to get with the bow. Because they will take off like a shot as soon as they see you. But the fog is letting up. Are you alone, Mr. Deer? No friends around with you? Oh, you do have friends. Okay. Ah, oh, starving. Shut up. We're hunting. We're in stealth mode. Come on. Ugh. Shoot, my mouse was not... Was not behaving again. Well, I, I think it's because I'm not used to these mouse buttons. Because they're not actually buttons, buttons. It's like all one piece of plastic. And so I think I hit it sometimes and it doesn't work. <laughs> So obviously, I must not have hit it. Let's see, which one do I want to go for next? <laughs> this one seems the closest. Let's try this one.
where he can't see me. <laughs> you don't see anything. Oh, God. <laughs> Although, really, honestly, that shot should not have killed him because it was just right in his mouth. Where's my arrow? Thank you, Mr. Deer. And I thank you for the sacrifice of your meat. Okay. Let's get that meat. My stomach is eating itself. Oh, my word. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get the hide in the guts, too. All right. Okay. Good deal. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I am this close to just turning that voice off. Because it is seriously grating on my nerves like a cheese grater. It could be a drinking game. I don't drink, but if y'all do... You should turn that into a drinking game. <laughs> I guess I could have put the meat in the drawers over there in the fishing hut, but that's okay. We're going to go and drop off the hide and the guts real quick so they can be curing. Did I get the hide and the gut off the other deer? I don't think I did. We don't really need them. I don't want to be carrying a whole lot of extra stuff around either, but okay. Let's let's see. That's the cured stuff. That's the fresh. Fresh, fresh. Okay. Now we need to go and get some more wood. More wood. Um, maybe if we just break up some of these pallets. That's a lot of wood. I can barely walk with this much gear. Take a shot, guys. <laughs> She's complaining again. Okay, 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 lady. She just needs to see the bright side of life. She got herself a deer. She got a bear. She's got like all these arrows now. <laughs> She's doing good. We're doing good, guys. Um, I'm just going to end up using up this fire striker. Oh, I meant to change the type of wood. Whoops. Maybe we're just so good that we'll have no problem starting our fire with reclaimed wood. Because we're just that amazing. It could happen. Look at that. I think it will happen. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. She sounded very Canadian there. How about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beauty, A eh, hoser? I was told by a Canadian that they don't actually call each other hosers, but what do they know? 
<laughs> I mean, I am fluent in Canadian ease. I watch Strange Brew. I learn from Bob and Doug McKenzie. <laughs> they taught me all I needed to know about Canada. And they're as Canadian as they come, so... I feel like we're wasting our days by <laughs> sleeping. We need to uh, get our sleep schedule back on track so we can be doing more stuff during the day. And sleep in the night. Out here. Time to look for shelter. Um, I mean, technically, this is like a pretty sheltered place. Yeah, yeah. One more piece. Let's go ahead and... Threw up the last couple of uh, cups of herbal tea. And melt some more snow. I need to make some more water. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay. And let's go ahead and uh, take a brand. All right. And into the drawer, the meat shall go. Um. And we'll grab a piece of bear meat. All right. And let's head back over yonder. What is our, we're still at 1%. I don't know when that will reset, but we'll wait until it resets to eat that piece of uh, bear meat. In the meantime, we can eat the uh, venison. To tide us over, let's see, it feels like eight degrees. Because we're holding on to this brand. Can you eat trees? Yeah, you can. You have like buck teeth, like a beaver or something. Yeah, totally, totes. All right. Quit your belly aching. There's some food. Oh, I was going to drink that uh, herbal tea when it was hot. Forgot. Whatever. 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 All right. And it feels like eight degrees. Okay, let's go ahead and work on these pants again. Um, let's try two hours this time. Oh, it's like two degrees. It's getting colder. Okay. Um, another hour maybe. It's like zero. Do another hour. And this one. So we're starting to get colder now. Um, minus two. Minus three. No. 
it's getting uh, windy out. It's going to be getting colder soon. Okay. Don't know how long we have left. So, um, let's, uh, still at 1%. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, just drink some herbal tea, drink some water, and go to sleep. In the morning, we'll probably be able to eat that. Um... Oh. Good time. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's fortuitous timing um let's just go ahead and uh we'll say 11 i know it won't let us sleep that long but we'll just sleep as long as we can i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and i wanted to see Okay, no affliction. So, yeah, we, we can go ahead and eat that bear meat, but I'm going to go ahead and, and end it here. We'll start off with that in the next episode. Oh, grumbly tummy already, but uh, anyhow, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.